started. Hopefully I can see um, comments, if there are any comments. Um, we're gonna do a quick 30 minute craft project. It's probably not even gonna take 30 minutes to do this. Uh, usually I craft when my kids aren't home, but uh, five of my six are home right now, so we're gonna work kinda quick. Um, today I wanted to do a, um, an ink project. We have these really cool things called banners. And um, with the banners, I mean the banner looks like this, and it, it comes with a hanging frame, and then um, we sell the refills, the banner refills. So you don't have to like completely replace your entire like, I guess, banner if you want to um, do another project. And I have a project, or a project, I have a banner hanging by my front entryway when you walk in um, with an everyday design. And so I'm going to switch that banner out with this one that we're gonna do today, which is a Christmas design. And I know a lot of people are like, Christmas already? But um, I have six little kids and we always go all out. And it's just, sometimes it can be a pain in the butt setting all of this Christmas stuff off. You can probably hear like I have a dancing Santa that's playing downstairs right now. Um, so I figured the longer it's up, the longer I get to enjoy it. So we always decorate early. Um, I live in like a two-story house and instead of like the main level and up, we have the main level and down. And so downstairs like the kids' Christmas area and then upstairs is like the grown-up Christmas area. So we, we decorated downstairs yesterday. So hopefully that kid, my kids um, entertained for long enough for us to do this project. So if you guys can see me, if you guys can just say hi, um, let me know where you're from, if you're watching, and then um, we'll get started. Okay, so what I'm doing today is I'm going to be inking a banner refill. And um, shoot, these are like, I wanna say like 10 bucks for two refills to redo them. And you already have the hanging hardware if you already have like your first banner. So all you have to do is like swap the banners out. And then the sign that we are going to do today, and we're gonna do this in ink. This is gonna be an ink project, so this will be permanent. As soon as ink touches this bad boy, it's not coming off. Um, we're gonna do this one. It's called Mrs. Claus Candy Shop. This is really cute. And you can make it, um, you can make it Christmassy, or you can make it not Christmassy. But we celebrate Christmas, and we do Christmas, and. Santa Claus and all of that. So I'm going to make mine um, Christmassy. But you don't have to if you don't want to. You know, with all of our transfers, you can do them however you want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my sticky chalk couture mat. Anybody who does crafting with vinyl, this is very similar to your, um, your cutting mats that you put your vinyl on. It's like a little bit of sticky. And what this does is, not only does it hold my, um, my banner in place so it doesn't move around but it also provides a layer um, in between my fabric like if I was working on a pillow cover um, because the ink will bleed through you need to have um, an extra layer in between your your fabrics and this one right here fits perfectly in our lumbar pillows and for right now it'll work for my banner and all I did with, with this is I just took it out of the package and then I just ironed it a little bit to get um, some of the wrinkles out. So we are going to go ahead and start and like I said today this is an ink project. We have inks and paste. I'm using inks for this one. I have um, candy apple red, meadow green, bright white and then um, I'm using shimmer copper because uh, we don't have a brown ink or if we do have a brown ink I don't have it. So I'm using with what I have. And then our transfer is um, Mrs. Claus's candy shop. And then once I put this on here, I'll turn it around so you can see it. So if you guys have any questions or anything like that, just let me know. And I apologize in advance if it gets lost because my kids are downstairs. And I give them about, I don't know, 10 minutes before they start fighting. Okay. So I'm going to start by cutting out my transfer. It comes on a big sheet like this. And you can see like the white cut lines on it. So I'm just gonna cut it out. And I'm gonna cut out the pieces that I am going to use on my transfer. Just cut 
getting um, the pieces out that I'm going to use. And what makes our transfers like super easy to use is that um, if you see a design that has like multiple colors on it and like, well, for example, the, the candy cane, every layer has, every color comes in its own layer. So you'll do one layer and then as soon as this dries, then I'll put the next one on for the next layer. So these, I mean, they really are like airproof, I want to say. And then it's really exciting because um, I don't know if any of you guys watch Good Morning America, but on um, on October 30th, we, I say we, Chalk Couture, is going to, um, they're going to do a segment on us. So it's exciting time. I, I foresee a huge growth in our company in the next coming um, weeks. Oh, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of, all I did was like cut the little pieces out. There's um, a gingerbread man. I'm going to use the gingerbread man. Um, there's a couple little candy pieces to use. I'm going to use the gumdrop one. And then um, there's like a little Christmas tree if you want to add the Christmas tree, the candy cane. And then um, this one just says bakery and candy shop, but I'm going to add the Mrs. Claus on the top of mine. And then I'm gonna use the made with love too. But until we use those, I'm just gonna move those over to the side. And then I'm gonna put this on here and then I'm gonna flip it upside down so you guys can actually see what I'm doing so it's not totally upside down. Um, if I was working on a surface other than a fabric surface, I would fuzz my transfer, but because this is going on fabric, I don't have to worry about fuzzing my transfer. I'm gonna to try to get this on as straight as I can the first time because it's really sticky. I'm just gonna, you know what, I'm gonna stick it on here just so I don't have to, because it's so sticky. Usually with our transfers, we do what's called fuzzing. And it's because the transfers, and I save the backing, because our transfers are reusable. So I can use this transfer 12 times. And so all I have to do is wash it, and then once it dries, I stick it back on the backing. So if you get a transfer, save your backing. You're gonna wanna keep your backing. Um, we do what's called fuzzing the transfer. And because the transfer is really, really sticky, like really sticky, um, some, it's, think of a sticker. If you put a sticker on a piece of paper, and then you try to peel it up. Sometimes it either leaves sticker behind or you pull the paper up. That's what will happen with these if you don't fuzz them first. But because I'm using fabric, I don't really need to, um, I don't need to fuzz it, but I'm fuzzing mine just because this is a big transfer. And if the transfer hasn't been fuzzed and it crumbles up on each itself into like a big ball, um, you have to work very, very slow to unstick it. You just gotta stick it water the water will just go away so you can slowly open it back up if you try to open it back up it'll just destroy your transfer ask me how I knew that okay so what I'm going to do here's my transfer and you can see it's sticking to my fingers it is sticky I'm going to just put it on my I'm going to try to get it on here as straight as I can and I'm just trying to get it in the middle of my um my banner and I'm just going to line it up I was going to line it up with the thread, but I just don't know if that's going to really work. And because this is a banner and it has hanging hardware on it too, I'm not going to go um, all the way to the top or all the way to the bottom. So all I did was I just put my transfer on my, it's on my hanging banner. And the back side of my hanging banner, that's just my mat so that my ink doesn't bleed through to the table. And it also helps my, um, when I start working on this so it doesn't move all over the place. And I'm just smoothing it down best I can so I don't have any bubbles underneath it because if you get a lot of bubbles, um, sometimes it can cause your, uh, your ink to bleed. Okay, so I'm just trying to get it on here as best I can. Just using my fingers to smash it down. And then um, we'll go ahead and start. What I'm going to do on mine is I'm going to do the bakery and candy shop red. And then I'm going to do the outside um, candy cane area green. And if you're working with paste, you can use paste on anything or ink, anything you could paste. If I wanted to use paste on this, I could. Um, but if I wash it, the paste is going to come off. If I ink this, um, the ink is on here. The ink is permanent. But you could use paste on here if you, if you wanted to. You just couldn't wash it. Um, and paste dries a lot faster than ink, 
So I'm using ink on this. I thought about using paste, but I'm gonna go ahead and use ink on here because uh, it doesn't dry as fast. So it gives me a little bit of a, a grace period while I'm, while I'm working on this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my green and I am going to open it. And I'm gonna get my, I just got my, a cup full of uh, squeegees over here that I use. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of ink, a little bit of ink goes a long way. This is a three ounce container of ink. I could probably get, I wanna say a good 40 projects out of this one little container. A little bit of ink goes a long way. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of ink on my squeegee. You can put it on your design if you want, but because I'm using ink, um, and like I said, just a little bit of ink goes a long way. Um, so I'm just gonna put it on my squeegee rather than just sticking it directly onto, um, onto my surface. And it's just like paste, so if you have any excess, you can, um, you just scrape it back up and stick it back in your container. And I'll, I'll look this up and show it to you as soon as I get it covered. And then to just wash your transfers off, you just run them under some, um, some warm water. And just use your hands to just kind of wash them a little bit. And then sometimes, depending on what color of ink you're using, sometimes the ink can stain the transfer, but it won't stain the silk screen area, so it won't, um, there's not any issues. Reusing your transfer. I can hear my kids down there. Um, we have our elves. They're up on the shelf. And um, they were put away because our elves don't come out until it's closer to Christmas. And then my six year old found the elves. And they're down there fighting over them right now. Because we had to make a big deal when he found them. I was like, oh my gosh. They must have been stuck in that box all year long. They're gonna be so excited to get to go back to the North Pole for a little bit. So they're down there fighting over where the elves went. Because last night I have a little Christmas mailbox that I got at Michael's. So we shoved all the elves into that little uh, Christmas mailbox so they could go back to the North Pole. So they're down there fighting right now over the uh, over the mailbox because they keep checking it to see if the elves are back. But they're not. They're not back. They're not coming back until closer to Christmas. See, so how, all I did right now is I just covered my outside area, the green. I just, you just wanna make sure your silk screen areas are like really covered. As long as your silk screen area is completely covered, then you are good. And so this was meadow green ink that I used on that. So now I'm gonna use my red candy apple and I'm gonna do this other part. And I meant to get my blow dryer. Um, usually I'll, if I need to like cover or layer any kind of section, I will, um, I'll work on it and then I'll walk away from it and then I'll just come back when I have time. But um, for the purpose of like doing a live video, usually I, I'll blow dry it in between. I forgot to get my blow dryer. I knew I was forgetting something. have this little um, snowman. He's not little. He's probably like, I don't know, three feet tall. And you just plug him in and he plays like a musical Christmas song. And all he does is he just kind of moves like this. But my two-year-old is, I don't know if you guys can hear her calling me right now. She's scared of it. And what the kids do is they wait for her to get on the couch and then they turn it on and it kind of pins her in. And she like refuses to like walk past it so I can hear her calling me. And I can hear the Santa Claus on too. So she's like, um, come get me, please. But she's not crying, so she's okay. Mm. If she was crying, I would go down there and get her. But she's not, so. With this way, with the downstairs, with our downstairs area decorated, like with all my kid Christmas decorations, gives the kid an opportunity to touch mm and mess with everything and get it completely out of their system. And then once they're like, 
I don't know, kind of over it. Then we'll decorate the, uh, I'll decorate my upstairs. My upstairs is like my grown-up area. We don't let the kids bring their toys upstairs. They do anyways, but it's supposed to be like our grown-up area, so we'll have our real, we have a fake tree downstairs, but upstairs we'll have a real tree. And I'll have my glass ornaments on that tree and just a little bit more decorative upstairs. Okay. I'm just covering all of my silk screen areas and I'll lift it up so you can see. And then I will pull this transfer up, this part of the transfer up so that we can work on the next part. And once this is completely finished and dried, um, to make the ink permanent, well the ink is permanent once it touches fabric anyways, uh, you can bleach this and it's not gonna go anywhere. But if you want it to stay bright, you need to do what's called heat sealing it. And if you're a crafter and you have a heat press, you can use your heat press, or if you don't have a heat press, um, you just use your iron on the hottest um, cotton setting, and then you just iron it for about four minutes, and then after that you can wash it and it won't fade, it'll stay bright and cheery. Some colors, like the black, if you don't think um, if you don't heat set it, the black will, um, the black fades. But most of these colors, they won't fade. The only one I've really experienced fading with is the black. Okay, so I'm just covering these areas up, and then I'm going to lift this up so you can see it, and then we will pull it off. Make sure I've got everything covered. If you're using paste, you got to work at a little bit of a quicker pace because your paste um, will dry on your silk screen. And if it dries on here, when you go to peel it up, it'll peel up the paste. So usually if I'm, if I'm using a transfer that has like multiple colors, I'll actually like do one color, take it off, and then put it back down to do the other, the other color sections that I need to do. I'm just trying to get in this little nook and cranny right here, and then I will lift it up so you can see it, and then I will peel this off. Because like if this was paste that I was using right now, um, the green would already be dry because the paste dries so fast. And you can, um, you can kind of prevent that like by putting a wet paper towel over the top of it or just using like a squirt bottle and just spraying your design, spraying your paste a little bit. That will help um, keep it a little bit moist. Okay, so I'm just doing a quick little scan to make sure I got all of my areas covered because it's frustrating when you think you've got it all covered and then you pull it off and you see like a really prominent spot that should have been covered but wasn't covered. At least it drives me nuts. Some people just don't even care. You probably wouldn't even notice it, but it's one of those things that I've been doing this for so long that like I notice things like that like immediately and it just drives me bonkers. Okay, I'm going to wipe my fingers on my apron because ink is permanent and every time I do an ink project, every single time, I always have ink on my hands and then I go to touch my fabric to lift it up and there's my fingers all over it. So here we go, I'm just gonna lift this up. Lift it up from the back so if my fingers are covered in ink, you won't see it. See, I just covered my silk screen areas really well. And then I'm gonna peel this part off. And then once I peel this part off, then we'll be ready to move on to another section. So when you peel your transfers off, you either wanna peel left to right or right to left or top to bottom or bottom to top. You don't want to peel diagonal because if you peel diagonal, um, depending on how sticky your transfer is, um, you can stretch your transfer. And if you stretch the silk screen area of the transfer out, it'll bubble. And then um, it just makes it a little bit more difficult to use. So I'm just going to peel my transfer up. I'm going to start at this corner just so I can get my fingers underneath it. And then I'm just going to fold it over right here so I can hold it. And then I'm just going to peel my transfer. Use my belly to hold it. And then I'm just going to peel it. 
right off, like peeling up like a big giant stencil. Oh no. And see where I got, um, I went off the bottom of my transfer with a little bit of ink. I'm going to have to get creative and cover that section up. I can wipe my fingers off. I'm going to cover it up with a Christmas tree so you won't even see it. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to lift this up so you guys can see. See how clean that came out? And there's a gap right here, right here, this gap right there. Um, that's intentional in the transfer because that's where our, um, our candy cane is going to go. Our candy cane is going to go in that little spot right there. So while this dries just a little bit, I am going to, let's see, because I want to put the Mrs. Claus up here, right there, but this is a little bit wet. I'm going to run, it's going to sound, because I'm on the top floor of my house, I'm going to sound like an elephant running across my floor. There is no stampede here, it's just me running to get my, uh, my blow dryer. I'm just going to hit this really quick with the blow dryer so that we can move on to the next section. The ink, the transfer will not peel up the ink. It'll just get ink on the back side of the transfer, which it's not going to hurt the transfer, but um, it just makes it a little bit easier to work with if it's dry. So I'm going to run and get my blow dryer really quick. Give me 20 seconds. Too. If I'm doing a video where I have to use my blow dryer, I hate the sound of the blow dryer. I hate it. So usually, like I'll do like a pre-recorded video, so my blow dryer is not even an issue. So I apologize for the obnoxiousness of the blow dryer. completely dry. It's not completely dry, but it's dry enough in the areas where we're going to layer it. So, um, that'll be good. Okay, so I'm going to start with my candy cane. And I'm just going to make my candy cane just a little bit smaller because I don't really... Rowan, please stop hitting whatever it is you're hitting. cutting mine in just a little bit smaller. You don't have to do this. I'm just doing it just so I can get a good view of where um, the placement of my candy cane is going to be. Again, I save the backings. You want to save the backings for your candy cane. And then I am just going to slowly, I think it goes like this. In here. I think it's 
it's in there. We'll just call it good. Okay, and I'm going to do my the base of my candy cane. I am going to do white. Again, we're using um, ink, so it is permanent. And then all you've got to do is just cover your silk screen area. And I'm doing the base of my candy cane first so that it has a chance to dry while we work on um, another section of this. So if you can hear that banging, my son, um, he has one of those like toy toolkit bench things and he's down there like trying to hammer. So if I tell my kids to just be a little bit quiet and they think that if they're downstairs that we can't hear them and so he's being extra loud. But he's not fighting, so I'm gonna consider that a blessing. But that might just drive me bonkers, so I just don't know. Okay, so here I did, I've got the candy cane on there. Just covered my silk screen area. And then I'm just gonna peel it off. And what I'm going to do is I just stick my transfers on the side of my table, or like right here, or something like this, until I'm ready to wash them. Okay, so while that part is drying, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to do my Mrs. Claus. Or I'm going to, you know what, let me go ahead and do the base of my, um, no, my gingerbread man is going to be a different color. But we'll go ahead and do our gingerbread man. I'm just trying to do the different pieces that I'm going to be layered so they kind of dry a little bit quicker. Or so they have an opportunity to dry while I am um, while we work on this section because he's going to be layered too and I'm going to do him we don't have a brown well we have kind of like a coppery color but we don't have a brown ink or if we do I don't have it and it's out of stock and I've never seen it so I'm using um, gold it's kind of a light brown color and this is just for my um, my gingerbread man the base of my gingerbread man. And so it's just a little bit of gold ink that I'm putting on him. And I have empty containers. If you're really good with like your colors and your color wheel and all that, um, you can mix your colors to create your own colors. But uh, I'm just not there. I always tell people, I am not crafty. I cannot I can't come up with like really creative ideas. I can't, I just can't. But I'm amazing at recreating, which is why this just, this just speaks to me. Like I could never come up with a design or something like this on my own, but because it's already made for me and all I have to do basically is like stencil paint it on, this is like my kind of craft. I'm not creative, but I'm an awesome recreator. So if there's something that I see already done that I like, I love, I can totally recreate it. I just can't come up with like something original on my own. I always wish I was, but I'm not. Okay, I'm wiping my fingers just so I don't get ink all over my banner like I already did. And then I'm just gonna peel it from the top. I'm gonna get it up here so you guys can see. See, you just peel it right off, kind of like a, the sticker and then I'm just going to stick it right over here on to the side until I am ready to wash him and then um, I'm going to do my made with love and gold and my Mrs. Claus down here up here and then as soon as I've got these two dry then we will finish him we'll finish our candy cane and then we'll add some um, we'll add some candies to the bottom and I got a little bit of ink off of my transfer. And so ink, ink, once it touches your fabric, it's on there. So you can see down here, I got a little bit of green ink on here. So we are, uh, we're gonna get creative and we're gonna cover it up. I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna cover it up with, but I'm gonna cover it up with something. Maybe I'll cover it up with a Christmas tree. I don't know. Cause the, the wooden dowel at the bottom that holds your banner is probably like an inch and a half. So whatever I put down here, it's probably gonna cover some of that up. So maybe I'll just ignore it and pretend like it's not there because I'm pretty sure nobody else is going to notice it. I noticed it, but I'm pretty sure nobody else is. So now I'm going to add my Made With Love down here, and I'm going to just try to get it on straight. 
but I make no guarantees. No guarantees. Looks kind of straight. Looks straight enough, and I'm gonna do the gold with that too. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my squeegee, and then I'm just gonna scrape it over. Make sure all my silk screen areas are completely covered. And if you have any excess, you just scrape it off. To get back into your container and then I am going to place my hands and I'm just going to grab my transfer and I'm going to pull it off. You don't even have to pull it off slow. You can rip it off like a band-aid. Just rip that band-aid off. Let me turn it this way so you guys can see. Can you guys see that? Is it bright enough to where you can see the um, I don't even know where my camera is to see if you guys can even see how like the sharpness of that. So, so far it's coming out great. And I will post a finished picture of this when it's finished um, and I completely dry in the VIP group. And um, if anybody's interested in trying Chaka Tour, I do have samples available in my VIP. And I also post a lot of deals and steals. And when I post the deals and steals, um, I try to do like a deal of the day where like I do a whole project and a whole project comes with the surface, your transfer, your squeegee, and your paste. Um, you're more than welcome to get it without the surface if you want. I just try to do it as a whole kit. Uh, but you can, I mean, you can do this on anything. You can do it on wood, um, cardboard, not card, well, you could do it on cardboard, um, chalkboard. Um, you can do coffee mugs, um, fabric, t-shirts, pillows, anything wood. Um, so you can do it without the, um, the surface. And when I do deals of the day, um, the deals of the day are always at the designer cost. So it's a huge, huge um, discount if um, anybody's ever interested in those. And I post those in my VIP. All right, so I'm just going to put Mrs. Claus on here because we do Santa Claus in my house. Santa visits my house. I'm just going to put a little bit of red on my squeegee and I'm going to cover my silk screen area. And like I said earlier, a little bit of paste, or not paste, this is ink that we're using, goes a long way. You can get a good like 50 projects out of one little three ounce container of paste. And if anybody's interested in this project, I will make this a deal of the day. Um, just go into the VIP and find the picture of this and just be like, I want it. And I will invoice you. If you want the banner, you can have, um, I'll include the banner. If you don't want the banner, just say no surface. And I will include the, um, the red, green, and white paste. And then um, you're more than welcome to add on extra colors if you want at, at my discount. I'm going to stick it back here until I'm ready to wash it. I'm going to lift it up so you guys can see what we've got so far. So I'm still going to layer my candy cane with the second layer, and I need to layer my gingerbread man. And then I'm going to add a little bit of um, some gum drops here at the bottom. I'm going to touch my white just to see. It's still pretty wet. So I'm going to hit it with a blow dryer really quick just for a second, and then uh, we'll continue on.
ticket over there. Okay, so now I'm just gonna do um, my candy cane layer, and it looks like this, and I'm just gonna cut it down just a little bit more because there's just like a lot of extra unneeded green space on here. You don't have to cut it down, but um, I cut it down just because it makes it easier for me. I'm just gonna peel it off, and again, I save the backing because after I wash these and once they dry, we'll stick it back on the backing. We'll stick it back on here. And so I'm just gonna layer this on here, and I'm using my white candy cane backing as my guide. And again, I mean, you can use any colors that you want um, to make your designs. I'm just using traditional Christmas colors on mine. And I'm going to do this top part of the candy cane red. So I'm going to get my red squeegee that I've already used. And I'm just going to cover my, my silk screen area. I'm going to do a little bit of red. This red is candy apple red. The green ink that I was using was called Meadow. And I mean, it's like a traditional, you know, your green. And then um, gold is what I used. The gold shimmer is what I used for my, um, my gingerbread man. And for the words down here at the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to sit my squeegee down, wipe my fingers. And then I'm going to... So you guys can see, just got to make sure your silk screen areas are covered and then you don't want to wait for it to dry. You just go ahead and um, peel it right off, stick it right back here and then there's my candy cane so far. All right, I hit my gingerbread man so we can go ahead and layer our gingerbread man. And then um, all I have left to do is to add a little bit of candies at the bottom. So you guys can um, let me know what you think so far. You can tell me if it's like awful. You're like that's the worst gingerbread Christmas design I've ever seen in my life. Um, I can handle it, I promise. So I'm just going to cover him with white, the second layer of our gingerbread man. And then I will, I'm just going to peel it off. I'm going to lift him up so you can see him. Just let me know what you think. What do you guys think so far? Yay, nay? Add some more. Doesn't it look cute? I'm just going to add a couple little pieces of candy at the bottom. And then um, this will be done and ready to hang up in my hanging banner. And this, like I said earlier, this is a refill of um, um, the refill banners to go with the hanging hardware that we already have. So it's kind of like if you have a, a picture frame and you just want to switch the picture and the picture frame out. It's kind of like what our banners are. You just switch out the banner. You don't even have to take their, um, the hardware or anything down because it has like a magnetic closure on it. Oh, I've got one red gumdrop and I'm going to immediately put this back down and do a, well, no, I guess I can't put it back down. I was immediately going to put it back down, but I'm scared it's going to hit a wet area. Maybe I can get away with doing it like this. A little red gumdrop. And then I'll probably have to rinse this off to be my green one. Otherwise my candy is not gonna look red. Or it's not gonna look green, I should say. And then I'm just going to um, 
see if I can wash it off on here. Just use my apron to just wipe it off a little bit. And then I'm going to, uh, and then we're going to add a green one. I'm just fuzzing it on my apron just a little bit so I could get some of the excess color off the back of it so I don't lay it down on my, um, because as soon as I lay this down, the ink on the back side, see where I laid it down on my candy cane where it was still kind of wet? So there's ink on the back of this, and um, that ink will transfer over to your surface, and I don't want it to transfer over to my surface, so I'm just going to try to get as much of it off as I can, and then I'm going to add a little green gumdrop, and then this one will be done. And then I will hang it up, and I will take a picture of it, and it will be in the VIP. And then you guys can just let me know what you think. Here. And just cover it up. Okay. Yay, it worked. I'm going to stick him right here. And then this sign is done. Um, I'm going to let it dry completely. And then I'm going to hit it with my iron to set the ink. And then I will post a picture of it, so let me know what you guys think. I can't see any comments, so I'm guessing maybe there are no comments, which is fine. Um, so I am going to say thank you for joining me. I'd love to see you in the VIP if you want information on being a designer, um, whether it be just for the designer discount um, or a kidnapper. Um, send me a PM, send me a friend request. I love to craft chat. And then um, I'd love to see you on the other side. And then look for us on October 30th on Good Morning America. So thanks, guys.